Hello, hello. What is going on with my face? What is happening? Oh my gosh. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so freaking excited. Normally, I almost always forget Taco Tuesday. So I'm freaking stoked um, to show you guys what I like to do for tacos now. I don't know why I keep singing, but whatever. It feels normal, okay? Oh, my Lanta, what is happening? What is happening? Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, what is, there we go. I think my phone just does not like our, um, it doesn't like our Wi-Fi. Like for whatever reason, it just doesn't. I don't even know. So anyway, um, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my kitchen. Why is my face looking like that? My face really doesn't look like that, y'all. Oh my God. Let's turn this sucker down. Let's see. Now I'm more normal looking. There we go. Where did Taco Tuesday come from? What do you mean? Taco Tuesday. Oh, like, like as a thing? I don't know. Because it starts with a T? <laughs> no it just sounded good. It's like... Thirsty Thursday. That's what all my friends call Thursday when they're going to go out and go drinking or whatever. Not really my friends, but like my acquaintances. So I really don't have any friends that like drink much anymore. Um, so anyway, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Jenny Lynn Curry and we're going to make keto tacos today with cheese shells. So, um, I am super hot already. Hold, please. So, if you guys are new to me, let me know new down below. If you are keto, drop keto down below. Sorry, I had to strip off camera, you know. No big deal. <laughs> Anyways, so... As you guys are hopping on, if that little red live button is up there in the corner, that means you're live with me right this minute. And drop the word live down in the comments. If you are not watching this live and that little red button isn't there, where is my stuff? This is chili powder. Um, that means you are watching on the replay and you can just say, I miss you below. Where's my stuff, y'all? Where's my stuff? I have way too many seasonings. I have seasonings in the cupboard. I have seasonings down here. I have seasonings everywhere. Y'all, do you like your food flavorful? Because I do, which means I get all of the seasonings. I have cheese seasoning. How about that? Buffalo, meat lovers. What is happening right now? Steak, garlic. Oh my gosh, everything's falling out. I think I used all my taco seasoning. It's fine. All right, so. Oh, happy Tuesday, y'all. My hair, oh, thank you. I chopped it. I sent 14 inches of it over to Wigs for Kids. And the other two inches went to the garbage. Oh, it was a sad day. No, it's fine. My hair is already growing. Like, it's crazy how fast my hair grows uh, because I take a collagen supplement. So, like, it grows so fast, which is totally fine. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys in this pan because you guys can see this one. You can't see this one. Oh, hold the phone. Hold the phone. I don't, I have, I don't know what I did to jack up my space or whatever. Yeah, buddy. Can I do a little painting? Um, when I get done, we can, okay? Can I do a live really quick and then we can do it together? Yeah. Okay. When you're done, then you and me can do the finger ones. <gasps> the finger ones. Oh my gosh. You want to show them what you painted today? Yeah. You want to show them your craft? Yeah. Um, 
My hair was so, so, so freaking long. It was crazy. I know, they're dry. They look really good too, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So anyway, so I'm just, um, I am, I'm going to put some chili powder in here. Mom? Yeah, buddy. Are these, are these painting now dry too? Those paints? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to put a little garlic powder in here. How do you? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't open it, buddy. I don't want paint getting everywhere. You want to show everybody what you did today? Mm -hmm. Show them. We're showing these so little, we're we... showing these little, <laughs> little... So Noah and I took a little bit of a time out today, and we painted. Well, he painted. I just helped. Here, show him just, just show him these. Oh, so I got him some little... Where's your things? Can I have them? I got him some little activities at the dollar store yeah. so that he could do some crafts, you know, because he's technically supposed to be in preschool, but preschools aren't open yet. So um, he did crafts. We're painting today. So he painted. These were just a dollar at the dollar store, came with the little paints, and so he had tons of fun. Um, so he did really good. Hand-eye coordination is awesome, which is awesome. He barely got paint anywhere, which I had put paper t papers down for anyway, so. It was fun, and he had fun, and now he's obsessed with the painting, so I have to go to the dollar store and get some more of them. If you don't want your kids to do the painting ones, um, they also have ones where you can, um, you can color. They can color on the, on the wood. I'm going to push this up a little bit so that I don't have to duck to see you guys. I still have to duck. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to make a taco shell out of cheese. So you're going to warm up your pan. I normally do it like medium high heat. And once it gets pretty good and warm, not like totally hot, but pretty good and warm, you're going to sprinkle on your shredded mozzarella. Give it a give it a good. That's pretty good. So you're gonna give it a good base right here in this pan. And then what I like to do is I like to sprinkle it with seasoning. That was a lot. But I love this zesty garlic from Garlic Gourmet. And so I use that. Can you use Mexican cheese or? Yeah, you can use, really, you can use any cheese you want. It's easier to do with the um, more, I, I hate using this, but the like low moisture ones. Um, so like this is not, it's not fresh mozzarella, right? So it's not super watery. Um, those are the easier ones to use. The harder cheeses, like, um, why can I not think of one off the top of my head? Anyway, the harder cheeses tend to just burn. So you want more, want a, like a medium moisture cheese. But yeah, you can totally use um, the Mexican shredded cheese or you can do the, um, you can do the, just the cheddar or whatever you want, really. It's whatever kind of cheese you like. I personally like doing this with the mozzarella cheese because it just tastes really good like that. And But I also have, I'm going to put in the mild cheddar. These are the, oh, this is not open. <clears throat> I grabbed the unopened one. Um, so I'm going to put this in with the cheese. So you will get like a, a cheddar and mozzarella thing going on when you're done because I'm going to put this in with the meat when I put the meat in this one. But I do use the super thin sliced um, cheddar because I just think it melts faster and it melts better. So this is the one I use. 
um, when I'm doing this. So super good. So this is where you guys can be super, super, hey Esther. This is where you guys can be super, super um, creative with making a dish like this because I made one of these and it literally was a breakfast taco. I did um, sausage, egg, and cheese inside my cheese shell. Um, the next day I did bacon, egg, and cheese inside my cheese shell. You could do like, um, I did a ham, egg, and cheese one. So it works really good for breakfast or lunches. Um, but it's just so, so easy and I love it. So you want to let this go until you see the outer edges start to get dark. And then you can start to, where's my spatula? You can start to flip it or pull it from the pan. Even if you wait too long, um, it has been my experience. I don't know what the heck Gabby did with my other spatula, y'all. What is happening right now? I have a specific, oh, here it is. I found it. I have a specific one I like to use for this. I like that better. Anyway, so when it starts to get brown on the outside, you can see it starting to get toasty on the outside. You just start to pull it away from the pan. So if you guys were not here when I first started this, I did not oil this pan. I didn't put any butter in it. I didn't do anything except for put the cheese down. That's it. You just make sure that it's down on a on a warmed um, pan and you just let it cook. So we're gonna take a little bit of this hamburger, pop it in there like so. Put a piece of cheese and then you're going to literally have to burn yourself. No, I'm just Try not to do that. So you just literally pull it from one side to the other. Give it a good pat. I was wondering if you were lost out there. No. No? I was trying to get the fingerprints. Oh, I'll get them. It's okay. No, but the skeleton is on the ground because all the, all the cans fell down. Oh, that's what you were doing out there. Yeah, so... so so I didn't see the things over there, so, so I thought all the painting. So that's what so it I turns out. All the painting was in 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 the bag, but I got distracted by that pan. You got distracted? Yeah. Oh, okay. So there you go. There is your pizza so, taco. Pizza taco. So, so wow. We your to pull the your cheese taco. Yeah, so while I'm trying to pull the big thing down. Then it, then it, it fell? Yeah, it fell with the skeleton. Oh, man. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll fix it. It's okay. And then it landed on the computer. He is so talkative today. We don't have to fix it. I just put it out there. I just put it back up there. Oh, you already fixed it for me? No, <gasps> you're such a good helper. Thank you. Thank you, but the... But the only the bubbly orange, yellow one fell out. But they're, they're just laying. They're just laying there? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out when Mommy gets done. No, you don't have to. Okay, I'll go, I'll go figure it out. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Yes, he is very talkative today, all about all of the things. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, so um, back to what I was saying about this being super, super easy to do and very versatile. Yeah. Yeah. Can you get me Cheetos? Ooh, my God. Anyway, so. Yeah, I'll get you some Cheetos, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I'm dying, y'all. Oh my gosh. 
Anyway, so you... You can do this however you want to. Um, so you could do pepperoni ones if you wanted to make pizza tacos. You can do um, pepperoni, cheese, sausage, all of that stuff in here. Um, you can do, if you want to do your tacos, you can also throw in, you could have thrown in some, um, some tomatoes or some, what are you doing back there? <laughs> You could throw in some tomatoes or some onion or some olives or whatever. Um, we're actually going to just do a, like a side salad on the side. Side salad on the side. That made a lot of sense. Anyway, um, and we're going to do a taco salad on the side of our taco. Um, so just like that. Esther said she loves you. Anita said she needed a good giggle, so that's good. You helped people laugh today. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. I told him he needed to um, cook. What in the what? He, he wasn't super Can excited about that. Can you give me the candy Oh, my goodness. Can you give me the candy dough? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's the better way to do that. Lift it. Try not to burn your fingers. So, once you get it flipped over, Ow. what I'm doing with that one. What I like to do is pull it away a little bit, and then you can get some of that excess grease off of there. And then what I normally do is I'll put it, put the taco on a paper towel on the plate, so it soaks up a little bit more because it's so Mommy. delicious when it's crispy and the Mommy, great thing ah. about this Mom? yeah where are you those are um some cookie stuff that i got at the store that one? no 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 we gotta bake it See? anyway the bet the best part about this is i <gasps> like that should be yummy <laughs> what's full of candy oh my gosh um, I made one of these the other day. Okay, okay. I need you to get down low because this is super hot. Okay, yeah, it's going to splash you and I don't want you to get burned. But you want to try the cooler one? Here. Can you give me orange? We'll move you over here and then you can try this cooler one. Can you give me orange juice too? Oh my gosh, he found the coupons, y'all. He found the coupons. We're in trouble. Okay, so, um... What I normally do is I put it on a paper towel and I let it just rest and harden up. And then that way you don't have that excess grease. <laughs> Silly goose. Ah. Ah. Oh my God. Anyway, but what I was saying was I totally <laughs> practically, anyway, <laughs> burned it the other day. I made a breakfast. Uh, sorry, my daughter's trying to call me. So it was super dark, and um, when I actually went to eat it, it like almost looked black, but it was so, so, so good. So even if you let it um, go a little bit too long, it's perfect. So, mm, oh God, it's so good. So. It's just so good, and it literally holds up like a taco. As it cools, it gets harder. Oh, ah! It's still a little bit hot, but it's so good. <laughs> but, but that's it. Super easy. You can pretty much put whatever you want to in it. Just remember not to grease your pan first. Just let the cheese grease the pan. And then that's it. Super easy. So if you guys want more super easy, quick and easy recipes like this, just drop the word recipe down below. I'll get you into my keto group. There's a ton of recipes, meal plans, all that kind of stuff in there. And you guys can have all of my recipes too. So anyway, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hopping on. Happy Taco Tuesday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.